Good afternoon. I see a lot of people on social media are saying to put a lot of weight in your truck to make it stay on the track. That is totally incorrect. You need your trucks as light as you can possibly have them so you can pull a realistic load. You start filling them up, you're not going to pull a realistic load. And I'm going to demonstrate how with this. This is a really light Backman truck. I've just put a spattering of sand in it so it looks like it's just been emptying what's left. And I'm going to show you before I run my 15 trucks that I've got of these the things you could to look out for and what you can do to make sure that your trucks run okay on the track. Now one of the things that can make your truck come off the track if it's light is the back to backs and the back to backs is a gap between the wheels which should be 14.50 and I will show you a couple of ways to check and adjust them on your wagon. Right, there's a couple of ways of checking the back-to-backs. You can buy these little gauges here that are set at 14.50 and basically just push them in and move the wheel around. Which is simple enough like that, you see, just push it in and you can move the wheel around. Okay, well the next thing you can use is an internal micrometer. They're cheap enough on eBay and what you do is you put it in between the wheels, it measures, let's get it right, and you can see that's 14.51, where it's pretty much as it should be. So that's how you check them. But in my opinion, I'll move this out of the way, the easiest way to adjust them is to use one of these. Now another thing you can do if you can't get at what's going on with the truck, you can just pull the wheel out or move it out of the way and that's not quite right and fire that in the middle like that and move it round a little bit and there we go check it runs and you can see it does and you put it back into the truck there we go simple as so that's how you check your back-to-backs on your trucks. Now another thing that has to happen is your track laid properly. As you can see here, the fish plates butt up. If you're trying to do something like that, well it's gone round this time, but a lot of them, it will come off, sod's law. But your track has to be laid correctly when it's pulling on other with other wagons going around, your track, your fish plates have to, I mean, if, you, if your track is laid really badly, then you are going to have a problem. Another thing you need to have is dead level track. If your track is not level, and I've got here my spirit level, that will also cause trucks to come off, especially when you've got a few being towed. So that can be an issue with derailments with trucks. Right, the first thing we're going to do is move these wagons round at what I consider to be a realistic speed. We're going to do it as one loop at this speed so you can see. And then we're going to move it up to half, nearly maximum speed. So speed it up a bit more, please. Nearly flat out. And remember, these trucks are really, really light. There's nothing of them. I have actually done all the back-to-backs. Obviously, I know my track is OK. We're going through here, radius 2, tight bend into radius 2. Streamline point which is easy, flat out now please, flat out scale speed, radius 2 set track point and you can see it's going round, they're not even jiggling and these are light, I've tried to weigh them on the kitchen scales, they don't even register, okay do you want to slow down slowly, 
and push the wagons into the yard please. We're clear now so if we can go around in the other direction. Obviously if you've got light trucks stopping them like a scale electrics car is not going to work so we're going to push them in at scale speed. I'm not cutting the video as you can see and in we go. We're pushing against the NEM couplings they would be better if they were magnetic couplings because these can ride up on each other but we'll see how we go I've got every confidence. Right radius 2 curve points this is all radius 2, radius 2 curve point. Radius 2 curve point coming up now which you can see. Left hand radius 2 set track point. And we're going all the way in. And you can see there what I consider a scale speed and there's no problems at all. And can you take it out again please? You can go a little bit faster. As I say, this is all radius 2. These are all radius 2 curve points. Nothing is easy here. And can we go back and do it again, please? So all these people that are saying you need to put weight in your trucks, they are incorrect. What you need is trucks where the back-to-backs are correct and your track is level. If it is not you're going to have problems. If you're having to fill your trucks up with weight you are not going to pull a realistic load. Obviously my trucks that have got coal in on top of balsa wood are heavier than this. But in my opinion there's no way, better way to show how something works if it's applied correctly than with something really light. And can you take it out again please? And you can see here, they're not even jiggling. A little bit faster, please. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the video once we've brought it round the circuit. And I'm going to set it up as a freight train being pulled around the track at a realistic freight speed. Just get it out of shot because it's a nice little shot there. And you can see... It runs really, really nicely. To finish off, we've got a class 20 pulling what we suggest is a realistic speed for these wagons. Show them going around our track. And you can see it's a breeze. Right, here we are, we're going to go through a streamline points crossover. You know, it's... It's kind of set piece. Here is out of scale speed, you wouldn't run it at this speed. Radius 2 curve point, radius 2 points crossover, simples. Thank you for watching. And to finish off, here we go, straight through here, no issue at all. But what we're going to do is do it a lot, lot faster, out of scale speed next time round, just to finish off, repeating myself, just to show you. And here we are, bouncing through at an out of scale speed.